So what you see in the top right corner is me walking into my garden. The system is checking. There you can see the image of me being popped up. Is there a person in the image? Yes, person detected, starting video capture. And now we are filming a five second clip of me walking in the garden. And we are gonna send that as an attachment in an email to me. You can see email sent successfully. And now the system is creating a description of what it saw in the image. It identified me as a female, so that was cool. And I was starting over again. Here you can see the email we got. You can see the clip is attached as an attachment here. We can just double click on that. And yeah, here we got the email. And yeah, that is how the system works. To explain this system a bit better, I created this flowchart. So you can see the first thing we need is an IP webcam live stream. This is very easy to set up. It's just an app, download on your Android phone. It might even work on iPhone, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, we just start the server and then we are live streaming. So this can be connected with OpenCV to our Python hub and we can slice some video frames from that live stream and feed them into the Moonrim Tiny Vision model. And we, let's say if X is detected, in our intro it was X was a person, but we can do it like a fire, we can do like boiling water, we're gonna do some tests. And if that happens, we can start the video recording. And on top of that, we can have mistral 7 b to kind of look at the output from Moonrim and write a log and we can use the Mailgun API to send videos, uh, the video clip we shared to our uh, email address. Like if you want to be 100% local, you can drop the API and just save the videos to your folder. So that is kind of the overview of the system and I think we're just going to take a quick look at the code and do some more testing. Okay, so the first function we have is just a simple Mistral 7b function. This is connected via the local host in LM Studio, so we're just going to start the server here. And then we are ready to go. I gave it the system prompt. You're an expert at writing security logs. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we are streaming this. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can just do a regular chat completion. And we have a process image function. This is actually using the Moondream 1 tiny vision model. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to the description uh, to their GitHub page. Uh, I love this model. It's just 1.6 billion parameters. So it's very quick. Uh, I might even test this out with uh, Lava. Uh, yeah, I might do that in another video, but basically we are using the Moonrim one for this. And we have a start video capture function. And here we can kind of set our duration for the, um, yeah, the this attachment we are going to send to our email. So we can do like 10 seconds, uh, but it can't be too big, I found out, because then the attachment gets too big and it doesn't attach. There's some kind of limit there on the... The megabyte size, I think. I'm doing 720p here. Just to get the size a bit down, we're gonna do 264 encoding. And here we can kind of set frames per second. I just put it to 20. Here we have a capture frame function. So this is just gonna take our stream URL and slice some images into our folder, right? Here we have the send email function. So this is basically just using the Mailgun API. And we can kind of do some parameters here, what we want. So we can do attachments if we want that. And here we have kind of our main function. So we set our stream URL. So this you will get from the IP webcam. We set our images directory for Moonrim. And we set the capture video directory so we can send emails from that directory. So this is just a true loop and it kind of it detects like we set the initial value person detected to false. And when we run this true loop here, we always do the prompt. So is there a person in the image? Here is kind of the X, so we can change this to fire, right? Or yeah, that's kind of up to you. And only answer with yes or no, because we want this Boolean value. So if answer is yes, then we are going to do this. If answer is no, we're just going to keep uh, going, right? And if the answer is yes and the person detected is set to true and we have this print statement person detected start a video capture and we're gonna send an email we're gonna put in our recipient address and just some body and subject here is our prompt for the vision model so describe the image in detail try to identify gender objects and clothing and we feed that into the vision model with our image right and we create a prompt for mistral 7b so we just take the image description from the Vision model and from the description write a security log and we feed that to Mr. 7b and we just print it and save it as security log. 
And that is basically everything. If the answer is yes, that includes sending email. You can kind of comment that out if you don't want to send emails, right? And yeah, that is basically the system. Not the most complicated setup and it works pretty good. So I think we're going to do some different testing now and kind of adjust our X here. So we're going to do like a fire person and just try a different stuff and see if it works right. First, let me just show you quickly how you set up this IP webcam app, how you can get this stream URL here. Okay, so this is the IP webcam app. So we just open that top right corner. We just click start server. And then we are streaming. So you can see I'm filming like the video now. We get our like uh, address here. So we're just going to copy that. And that is how you set up this. So very easy setup on this IP webcam app. Okay, so the first test we are going to do is see if we can kind of identify a fire. So I'm just going to switch up our X here to fire. Is there a fire in the image? I think that's fine. Uh, I'm going to just some uh, describe the image in detail. So I'm just going to keep it like this. Okay, uh, that should be good to go. Uh, I got something going on in my fireplace. So I'm going to aim the ca camera off the fireplace first. And then I'm going to adjust it down to the fireplace. And let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm just going to put the address up here, right? Okay, so then we are kind of logged into our IP webcam. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to adjust the advanced settings and set the video resolution to 1280 times 720 so that means that we get the 720p right okay so you can see the live stream here this is just of my tv and let's start the system now and see if it can detect a fire now and then i'm going to switch the camera to my fireplace and let's see if it can catch it okay so let's run this now and we should start getting some frames here now. Uh, yeah, just gonna load it up. Okay, so you can see in the down corner here, we got the frame of the video, right? Is there a fire in the image? No, uh, don't mind the person detected. So you can see we're loading frames. So I'm just gonna go back there now and kind of shift the camera angle. Okay, so now you can see it capture the video of the fire. So it didn't detect it right away, but it got it in the end. So I guess that was fine. Okay, send an email. Email to send successfully. Fireplace with red orange glow. One person detected. Share handbag. Mm, that was not great. So is there a fire in image? Yes. Okay, so it's catching it again. So I'm just going to stop it now. But yeah, you can see it's working, right? So now let's go see if we got the email. So let's see here. Yeah, we got it. Let's check out the email. Yeah, then you can see the burning place here. So yeah, perfect. The final test is going to be, is there water boiling in the image? Big bubbles and steam? Only answer with yes and no. If we look at the camera now, you can kind of see we have the camera set up over our pot. So I'm just going to go fire up the oven and start boiling this water and then we're going to run the system and see if it can catch when the water is starting to boil. Okay, so let's just fire this up. I'm just going to let it run in the background because this is going to take some time, right? So you can see the frame here uh, is there, hopefully, uh, boiling water. Hopefully we will get like no. Yeah, so it's going to be no. So I'm just going to let this run now and then we kind of see how long it takes before it starts detecting anything, right? Okay, so I can start to see that it's coming some steam now. So let's see how long it takes from here now. Okay, that didn't take long. So you can clearly see it bubbles now and you can see the steam coming up. So yeah, very happy with that. Uh, it isn't fully boiling, but I gotta say, yeah, pretty good. And let's check out the security log. So we are in the kitchen. Uh, detected the stove, the pot, boiling water remaining top of the burner. Okay, so that's pretty good. Yeah, let's see if it runs it again. Yeah, perfect. And yeah, again, we got the email. So let's check out the clip. Yeah, water is almost boiling. That is what I wanted to show you today. Had a lot of fun with this project. It was quite easy to set up. I was a bit surprised by that. 
Uh, if you want access to this, just follow the link in the description, become a member of the channel and you will get access to the community github you will get access to the community discord so yeah thank you for tuning in and i'll see you again on sunday